Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm really glad to see you all in today's video in which I want to talk about natural perfumery because I love natural perfumes very much. I find that natural ingredients are so complex that they bring really vibrant feeling to the fragrances, make them more interesting, full-bodied and just natural and authentic smelling. I find that nowadays our perfume market is overloaded with synthetic smelling fragrances that have nothing special to them at all. That's why I really love natural perfumery and I decided to share with you my most favorite top five natural perfume houses that specialize in creating natural and even botanical fragrances in small batches and uh, I will feature a lot of fragrances in today's video. I cannot even tell you how many perfumes we are going to talk about, so I know it is going to be a little bit long, that's why I recommend you to grab a snack, coffee, tea, and just enjoy if you want to invest in some high quality, natural, authentic smelling perfume. Maybe you want to hear about some recommendations, and I find that this video is so unique and unusual, so you have a great chance to learn about something absolutely fantastic that no one else talks about and if you are excited and want to learn more then please keep on watching. So first of all I want to begin with natural perfume house that is called Providence Perfume & Co and the perfumer Charna of this house is very talented. I love her perfumes. I have a lot of them in my collection and I find that this house is more known than maybe the other ones. But I want to talk about my top four fragrances from Charna's line. First of all, I want to mention this brand new limited edition botanical cologne that is called Limon Liada. This is how it looks and uh, this is a fragrance that is not like your typical cologne with that low concentration. It is very long-lasting, beautiful, cheerful, clean, bright, citrusy in the opening and then it transforms into more floral and sensual fragrance. It has the note of cedar, verbena, pettigrain, pink lotus and orris butter and in the first um, moment it smells of lemon but it is a lemon liar. There is actually no lemon essential oil whatsoever so this is a particular fragrance, super interesting for summer. I love to wear it to work. It definitely motivated me and just kept me alive at work, which I was very grateful for. Then we are moving on to Vientiane, which is my probably number one from this house. I have a full review on it, so if you're interested in more details about this perfume, check out that video. It is named after the capital of Laos and it means the city of sandalwood. This is the best sandalwood perfume I have ever experienced, you guys, hands down. It features a lot of great sandalwood ingredients, very expensive ones, and the particular thing about this perfume is actually that it has homemade uh, jasmine rice tincture, if I'm not wrong, and this perfume smells sweet, powdery, creamy, delicious. As I've said, it's the best sandalwood, very luxurious, super long-lasting, and I'm dreaming about a bottle of it. Next one on this list is called Love in a Mist, and I filmed a video on this one as well, and I called it my most favorite floral perfume and it is a botanical fragrance that is named after a fragrant wildflower with the same name, Love in a Mist. And you guys, this smells like a blooming meadow of wild flowers. If you want an unusual, really unusual, outstanding floral perfume that is so elegant that you can wear to work, that is very versatile, uh, that you can wear on a date, um, any time of the year, check out this fragrance. It has this amazing freshness, aromatic feel. It is floral, it is more feminine than unisex and you guys it has this pink peppercorn in the opening which makes it absolutely unforgettable. And finally we are moving on to the last but not least recommendation from this house that is called Rose Bohem and me and my mom we are obsessed with it because it features tiny notes, patchouli, agarwood, rose, some more aromatic fury like piney notes and you guys, this is the most bohemian fragrance that is out there, amazing sillage, it makes you feel like you're going on the red carpet. I'm not kidding, it is fantastic. And also the interesting fact about this fragrance is that it is a winner of Best Natural Perfume 2012 and those 
uh, my most favorite fragrances from Providence Perfume and Co. line. If I needed to describe this house with one word, this is like the beauty of nature. And that's been said, we are moving on to the next house that is called Gather Perfumes and I have two fragrances to talk about. First of all, let's start with this one, this is called The Earth Loves in Flowers. And first of all, you guys, look at the color of this juice. Doesn't it remind you of sunshine? It definitely smells like sunshine, you guys. It has this note of ylang ylang, which smells sensual, floral and solar, and it makes me feel like I'm outside having a picnic with my friends, and I smell flowers, smell nature, and just sunshine that uh, makes my heart fill with joy. I mean, like, it has also this amazing citrusy element as well, so it is very playful, it just just radiates the beauty and I love how aristocratic it smells and my mom always compliments me on it and I'm actually amazed by the quality of this perfume. One spritz is going such a long way, you guys. Two spritz is enough to smell this perfume all day long. I wore it a few times to work and I had an amazing time. It just has this sweet breeze um, that, that is coming from it and it's amazing, just fantastic. That is definitely a favorite of mine and I love how nicely put together it is and get the perfumes and then uh, also creates tinctures on her own so her appearances are very very interesting. She actually took some classes from Charna so their appearances just they smell like nature, honestly. And then we have Vintage Violet, and this perfume is different from the previous one. It, you can see the color is also different, and to me it smells like the goddess of a forest. It has this amazing green, very aromatic, woodsy, mossy, fresh scent, just super dark and mysterious, smells like night, and smells like um, something sultry. Can you imagine a sultry, aromatic, mossy perfume? If not, check out this fragrance. It is definitely unisex as well as the previous one and it can also recommend another fragrance from this house, uh, the rosy one. If, you're in a, if you are looking for the innocent rose first but then it changes into sweet uh, jammy rose. It is fantastic and I love this house very much, especially for the quality of the fragrances and if I needed to describe this house with one word that would be purity and the soul of the nature. And next we are going to talk about Ayala Morial perfumes and this is another natural perfume house that um, I'm lucky enough to have experienced and first of all I want to talk about the perfume that is called In Bar because it is fantastic. It smells like Something familiar yet so new. It is a delicious, vibrant, ambery perfume. It is oriental for sure, but first it is very fresh, almost citrusy. It has not bergamot and wild oregano, so aromatic and damn intriguing. It is never linear, it is full-bodied, there are so many elements and actually I didn't want to describe it as a nose. It has this amazing feel that uh, I didn't know, it is so sexy and so beautiful and so unrepeatably new, yet so grown up and a little bit vintage. I love it. Then we have this perfume Indigo, which smells... It smells fresh and green and blah blah blah, but to me personally, it smells like I'm standing in the garden of my grandma eating cassis straight from the bush. That is the feeling that it gives me. It is unforgettable, even though it is not berry, but to me it smells like berries. I don't know why, but I love that feeling. I was blown away as I tried it. Then we have Incarnation, which is a very spicy carnation perfume. I find if you not really love floral perfumes, if you love more spicy fragrances, but you want a hint of floral element in them, check out this fragrance. It is loaded with spices. Very interesting. And finally we have Narcis, which is a very abstract perfume. I don't really know how to describe it. I can tell you that to me personally it smells like very spicy food and when I eat spicy Indian food I have a feeling that I'm drunk even though I drink no alcohol and this is the feeling that I get from this perfume, which is so cool. So if I needed to describe a uh, Yala Morial's line with one word that would be depth, and richness of the nature. If you want your perfumes to be intense, bold, very real smelling, check out her line. 
And we are moving on to Essential Alchemy. This house I have mentioned on my channel a few times because I love Amanda's line. And this fragrance that is called Puy Indiscret is the best pear or pear perfume you will ever smell in your life. You guys, it smells like real fruit. It has this freshness, citrusy element, even some ylang ylang for that yellow uh, floral vibe, some powdery element, honey sweetness, but in general it smells like real pear or pear. Please apologize me, I hate that word, but I love how that fruit smells and I love how this perfume smells. It is damn sexy. My mom is obsessed with it, so I really want to get it in a full bottle. And another favorite of mine from Amanda's line is this fragrance that is called Mermaid's Carnation. I mean, this is the best carnation perfume I have ever smelled. It is very aromatic, with a touch of lavender, with some woods, with some greens, with some flowers and sexy animalic element. Unfortunately, it is discontinued, so you can contact Amanda and ask her if she has something left, if you're interested in it. But another favorite of mine is For the Love of Bees, stunning real honey perfume, just wild honey, wonderful. And she has many more perfumes that I want to experience, and if I need to describe her line with one word, that would be the sensuality of nature. And finally, guys, we are going to talk about DSH perfumes because you know that I'm obsessed with Dawn's fragrances and she has so many perfumes in her line that is crazy. Some of them are natural, others are mixed media and recently she launched a completely botanical collection and I want to talk about those fragrances. So let's get started. The first one is called Summer Cologne. I have it in a travel spray or travel roll-on bottle because my sample is finished and when I hear the name Cologne I'm not excited because I don't like those old-fashioned fragrances but Dawn used a very interesting kind of like new ingredient tomato leaf instead of classic patty grain and that's why this fragrance definitely smells interesting cheerful green crisp like summer and makes me excited and I'm never excited about green perfume so that is very special feeling next guys I have this fragrance that I have a feeling was created as like especially for me it is called Liz Oriental and it is a lily fragrance and lilies are my most favorite flowers ever. I'm never overwhelmed by their scent, I never get a headache from them and unfortunately have never smelled a gorgeous lily perfume until this one and you guys, it smells like real white lilies. If you are a lily lover, this is a must try for you. I wish you could smell it. It smells so damn good, fresh, floral, just like lilies. I remember Dawn told that there are very specific lily ingredients, I don't know, what she used but that smells like real flowers with uh, green sparkles all over it so damn good next one is really cool it's called bakul majol and the idea of this perfume was to create not sweet date fragrance and it is a spicy oriental perfume but the specific thing about it for me personally is that it has very boozy heady character and makes me feel drunk it smells like alcohol drink and i love this so much and actually what I am doing lately, I am reading a really cool book that I read in the ninth grade that is the best book ever and I am sniffing on this perfume, so now when I smell it, I imagine that book, which is the coolest thing ever. Oh, let's talk about this one. This is such a cool one. Oh my god, I am mesmerized by it. It surprised me so much. It is called Maui and this is the best coconut in the perfume I have ever smelled. Dawn deserves an applause for it because no suntan lotion or pina colada vibe from it whatsoever. This is the real creamy, translucent, transparent, light coconut, fresh with a hint of sweetness and beautiful, elegant sandalwood dry down. And actually, when I smell it, oh my god, it transports me to the world without any troubles or worries. Wonderful perfume. And uh, let's talk about Musk O Natural. This is a very interesting perfume. I discover so many new elements when I smell it, you guys. Today, personally, I found something like alcohol in it. Very interesting, but in general, just like vegetal, crisp, green, sharp scent. Very complex, hard to describe, super exciting to experience, and it just kicks me off my bed and makes sure that I get myself ready for the day. Oh, this one, also oh, Cerise. This is the best 
delicious yummy black cherry in the perfumery floriental mouth-watering scent that for me is like um a perfume jewelry <laughs> so good and finally we have thick interdit i need to be honest with you i'm not the fan of thick as a perfume note and my mom described it really well she told me it smells like someone ate fruits and smoked cigarettes and forgot to open the window and indeed it smells like smoky fix it has this green sharp bitter scent yet it, it has something beautiful to it so that is my um, opinion on Dawn's botanical collection and if I needed to describe her work with one word that would be creativity of the nature because sometimes you look at the nature and you're like whoa it's so beautiful and so unusual looking in avant-garde and just the nature could create such a fantastic piece of art so that my friends basically completes this video i really hope that you enjoyed watching it the majority or probably all of these houses are based in the usa and i know that the majority of my viewers are from uh, America so it is quite easy for you to get your nose on these perfumes and I find you're so lucky that you have me because I talk about these stunning fragrances that oh my god guys it is a real experience to smell them they make me feel beautiful and honestly they make my life more beautiful and I'm not kidding I'm not too dramatic I'm super honest with you if you're gonna invest in them, you won't regret that. And I just want to support this amazing artist in natural perfumery. And to sum up, if I needed to give you my ultimate favorites from each house, that would be from Providence Perfume Co, Vientiane and Rose for him, from Ayala Moria line, that would be Indigo and Inbar, from Gather Perfumes, that would be the Earth Class and Flowers and Vintage Violet, from Essential Alchemy, of course, Mermaid's Carnation and uh, Pre indiscreet and from DSH perfumes that is quite hard Maui and Bakul Mejo or O series and that is all for today's video please let me a comment down below with your most favorite natural perfume that I need to check out and all the information about mentioned fragrances and houses in today's video you will find in my description box as well as links to the official sites of this house where you can purchase samples or bottles of these stunning fragrances and if you enjoyed watching this video then please give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel so you will get more amazing content from me and stay tuned smell good and we'll see each other next time really soon